everything. All right, guys, we are in advanced algorithms. I keep on butchering my equation here, and this is like my fourth attempt. But this time we're going to do it, so let's go ahead and get started. What do we need to know for this? We need to know this orbital period equation, 2 pi square root of a cubed over gravity times our combined masses. So they've already given us our GM and our Earth radius, which we're going to use with the average altitude to get our a cubed. So all we have to really do here is create a simple equation, store it in a variable, and return that variable. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're gonna create a, a variable called results, and we'll do this one step at a time. So we're gonna set this equal to two times math.pi. This is just using the built-in math library. When we return results right now, we should get like 6.28. All right, so our math.pi is working. The next thing that we want to do is get the square root of something. So how do we do that? Just simply math.square root. And then we're going to get the square root of our a cubed over our gm, which we already have equated here. So how do we get the power and how does power work? Uh, getting a number two, like the third power or the fourth power. Uh, it takes in two parameters, the value that you're going to the jump up in a terms of power and then to what power so in our case we're going to go ahead and do math.pow and then it, our first parameter is going to be the earth radius that they give us plus our average altitude right here now you'll notice that this is an array with one object in it so we want to target our first index or excuse me our average altitude um, uh, value in our object so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and take our array, or our R, target the zero index, dot, average out. Now, we're not done yet because we still have to say to what power we want to put this. And that's to the third power. This is the second parameter here. And then finally, we want to go ahead and divide this by the GM that they give us. And when we, when we run this, you'll see we have a very large number. Now it's not, you'll see we're very close, uh, but it's not exact. So what we're gonna have to do here is just use another quick thing from the math library, math.round. And we'll just go ahead and do like so. And now we have math.round, 86,400. So this is right. And instead what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and just change this value now what can what can we do here we can actually just create a simple array we can set var r is equal to excuse me var uh var new array is equal to an object here and an array of objects so what do we want to put in here we want to have name the same name be uh r zero dot name and then from here, we want to go ahead and just go ahead and add in one more value. And we're going to call this orbital period. And for that, we just want to pass in results. And then finally, go ahead and return new array. And we're done. So that is what we're trying to do here. Now that just returns the first one, but we have to continue on with one more, it looks like. So let's go ahead and jump right into that aspect. All right, so if you're still stuck and you're like, oh, well, man, we have this second equation, we just have to change our code that's only working for one instance to work with multiple arrays. So what do we have to do to make that work? We're gonna create a for loop here with var i is equal to zero. And while i is less than our array that we're passing in dot length, i plus plus. In here, we're going to take our results variable, throw it in here. And instead of this zero, all we're going to do is pass in the current index that we're iterating over. And we'll go ahead and set our new array just equal to an empty array. And then within here, what we want to do is go ahead and take new array and push this object into there. Finally, just go ahead and change this it zero to an I, and we now have 
the code that did not seem to want to work all of a sudden. So let's see what I did wrong. So var results r dot length i plus plus new array dot push. Uh, oh, right here. So make sure that you don't have a double array and we're good. So real quick, go over it one more time. We have our GM variables and earth radius variables. We're creating an empty array. We're then iterating through the array parameter that is passed into our or orbital period function. We have an equation here that we use uh, three or four separate math library um, functions and then we're we're pushing an object to the array for each iteration and then once the for loop is done running we're returning the new array so as always guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my store at codingtutorials360.com slash store and i appreciate you those supporting me on patreon uh i love doing this stuff and i'm able to do it because you guys so thanks and don't forget to leave me comments man i really like them i'll see you next time Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and support me on Patreon. And if you're looking for additional video material to supplement your learning, go ahead and check out Team Treehouse. And if you're a recent graduate or a current college student looking for part-time work, full-time work, or internships, check out wayup.com. As always, I'll see you guys next time.